Hello. I've added in a lot of content, and I'm working on some of the late game stuff, and I wanted to show it to you. In this level, we only have one kind of klystron we can buy, the glycol klystron. And you can see that it doesn't work. We bought it, but it, it can't handle a beam at 1 MeV. If we look down here, it says it needs 800 MeV. That, that's nonsense. How do, we, how do we get it up to that speed? Oh. Um, if we throttle it down, it works at lower energy levels. That means that this klystron can be used uh, for a variety of, of purposes. We don't have to use it just low energy or just high energy. We can sort of use it across a spectrum. And we can change this throttle to get more efficiency out of it, as long as we know what we're doing. But that's really just to introduce you to the concept. Because really what we would like to do is show you a much more advanced feature. And that would be, in this case, the basic quad pull. A lot of things require the same kind of nonsense, but the basic quad pull will be uh, reducing your deviation. It'll be focusing your beam. You can see we're at 10E11 right now. We really want to bring that down but it needs some sensor readings. It needs a blue guy and it needs uh, what do you want to call it? Bright blue, azure, baby blue, whatever. Well we can get those, right? There we go, look, perfect. Wait, what does it mean? Deviation cannot be gathered too close to start of the accelerator? Hmm. Huh? Oh. By throttling it, it changes where we have to gather the data from. Here you can see that uh, at the lowest setting, it comes from pipe minus one. That would be this guy. And that means that we're getting it from the proper source. But we're only saving three and a half deviation. I'd really like to save 6.333. How do I do that? It needs to be from pipe minus two and pipe minus four. Well, that means that what we should probably do is move it forward a spot. There we are, pipe minus two and pipe minus, oh, this bright one, the deviation, this comes from minus two and not minus four, which is wrong. We, we don't care about you, go away. We want you. Oh, that caused a whole bunch of errors, didn't it? Look, it's actually being absorbed right here. That's no good. We need that to be an energy reading, so that means we've got to swap it around. So let's do that. We pull the cable. Uh, and we exchange the cable. There we go. And now it's running along just fine, right? Um, at some point we have to put it back on the stack. Alright, let's exchange it. And then pop it. Oh, look at that. I properly sourced it. I'm just that good. And now we are saving six and a half deviation, and our deviation is down to 10e4 instead of 10e11. Oh, that's pretty cool. Do you think we can get it up to uh, to this here? You think that's possible? <laughs> Maybe I'll leave it as an exercise for you, but it's going to be a little while before this is available. Uh, we haven't even gotten to the liquid hydrogen and uh, the liquid nitrogen stage, but. Um, Basically, as you go up in the game, things become a lot more complex, but they don't become a lot more rigid. So as long as you can grasp in your head the pattern of your accelerator, you can build almost anything. But it becomes more and more complex as the pieces become more and more complex. And there's definitely a fine line to balance the, the uh, difficulty levels. And I imagine that uh, this game uh, may be either too hard or too easy until I polish it a considerable amount. Anyhow, that's it.